Okay, we're uh, going to have questions for the Miami student athletes here as they get settled in. We'll start with Kyle and then over to Janine. So right here. Yeah, go ahead. Kyle Tucker, Courier Journal. Sheldon, if you could just talk about uh, leaving home, leaving Texas after the first couple of years there, uh, the journey from there to here and what you've learned about yourself in that time, and also uh, the, the prospect of getting home to Houston for a Final Four, what that would mean to you. Um, well, I went through a lot of struggles at Texas. Um, I mean, I, I actually felt I had two great years um, on the court, but it was just you know certain things that people didn't see you know, um, whether it was doing practice or doing the games that I wasn't comfortable with. So, you know, I felt like I needed a, you know, a change of venue. So I wanted to transfer, and I think that was the best decision for me. And after I took my visit, um, I kind of fell in love with the coaches, and especially Coach L. And once I found, found out Angel was transferring, I wanted to play with him because I was so used to playing against him in the Big 12. And I knew that he would be a great teammate. So I knew he would be a great team. And um, the, the day after I left, I kind of knew where, where I was going. Um, I just kept it to myself. And once I was ready to commit, I commit. I committed, so um, uh, that was that. And as far as I'm returning to Houston, it, it'll be the best thing in my life. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm praying and hoping we get there. You know, take one game at a time, and it, it'll be great to, you know, play a Final Four in Houston. Um, I probably need 100 tickets, but uh, I, I just want to get there. Janine Edwards, ESPN. This is for all three of you, and Angel, you can start if you would. Because um, you had said after the game the other night against Wichita State that you thought it was great for you guys to have been tested like that at this point in the season, leading by 21, losing the lead, coming back. If each of you could just tell me what you think you got out of that experience that will help you going forward, what did you learn from that? Well, learned a lot of things. Um, one of them, is the fact that um, nobody's going to quit. You know, at this point of the year, everybody knows you lose, you go home. It doesn't matter if you're up 20, 5, 30. Teams are going to fight to come back. Um, you know, and at the same time, it was great to, to learn that as a team, we were willing to take, a, you know, and not challenge a team coming back from 21 points. Um, Definitely, they had all the momentum. The crowd was into it. Um, you know, we definitely weren't playing with the same rhythm we started the game. Um, but we stayed together. Uh, we found a way to make plays to get ourselves going. And, and that's what it's about, you know, at this point in the season. It's about just finding a way to win a game for that day. Because after that, it's over. You move on, and you have a new opportunity. Thanks, Angel. Let's go Tony, then Sheldon on that question, please. I think for, for me, what I think, I mean, I, I strongly agree with him. I mean, uh, it's always a game um, of um, win or go home. So, um, you know, that game really taught us a lot that, uh, um, you know, we got to we gotta keep our focus and uh, never lose focus of uh, what we came to do. And uh, in the first half, we really had our focus and, uh, you know, we, we had really good defensive stops. And um, on offense, we really shared the ball. and. You know, we made great plays, and uh, we held them to a certain point and, uh, in the first half. But coming into the second half, I think uh, we fell behind a little bit. You know, we lost focus, and uh, we had to fight our way back. And uh, I mean, that is a great, uh, you know, time to really learn and uh, to build from. And uh, our captain here, Angel, I mean, he was uh, in the huddle. Every time he was just saying, you know, they've made their run. We got to make our run. and. Um, that was what really helped us, and nobody really, you know, dropped their head down or tried to um, blame each other. You know, all we did was just pull together and we just kept rolling. And uh, Kocha was great, and uh, you know, he just, you know, we made some sudden turnovers that wasn't forced by Wichita. We we just made it because we lost focus and just inbounding the ball and stuff like that. And um, the, but. You know, he he called a timeout, and all he said to us was that, guys, you gotta you gotta be focused. I mean, you got you gotta keep doing what you've been doing through the first half. And uh, I mean, their fans coming up, you know, screaming and yelling. I mean, that was bringing them back, and and we were losing our own fans. But when we bounced back, and um, 
you know, we took back the lead. I mean, the energy came back, the focus came back, and, you know, we, we played great just to win. And I think um, that's where it all comes in, you know, adversity sometimes. You know, you just, you just got to keep fighting. Um, I, I think we just, um, it, it really helped our character as a team and, and helping us stay together as a team. You know, um, basketball is a game of runs. Um, we made our run the first 10 minutes and we kind of set the tone. And towards the end of the game, they, they made their run, um, a big run for them. So um, I think it really helped us, you know, stay poised on the stretch, like Coach always say, stay together as a team. And, and we, we made just enough plays to win the game. So, you know, that's all that matters, you know. Um, I, some teams, they, they kind of will get down on themselves or one guy will try to do it all in one play, but we stay together as a team. Uh, we got the important stops we needed down the stretch, and, and that kind of helped us offensively. So um, I, th I think it was great that they took the lead with, with a couple, you know, a couple minutes left. Kind of really helped us. Thank you. We're going two on the left, and then we'll circle back on the right here. C.L. Brown with ESPN.com. This question is for Angel and Sheldon. <coughs> Excuse me. The team in 2013 was maybe looked at as the best team in program history, but you guys can do what they weren't able to do just by getting to the Elite Eight. I was wondering if you could, uh, uh, where do you feel like this would place you guys in terms of program history? Does, would this make you the best ever if you're able you know, to, to get there? Do you even look at it that way? Let's go Sheldon, then Angel, please. Um, honestly, we've been hearing about it, um, that the program has never reached um, an Elite Eight. So we definitely want to be, you know, the first group of guys to, to do that, and it'll be a big accomplishment for us in the program. But um, I don't know, man. It's kind of up to, up to y'all for, for those comparisons. You know, we just try to, you know, win a game in advance. You know, I mean, it's called Survive in advance for a reason. So, you know, that's our main focus. I mean, we just want to execute the game plan and, and try, to, try to advance. Well, first of all, they they were the team who started, you know, the the winning culture, um, if you think if you want to put it like that, under Coach L's, uh, um as a coach, you know, what they did is definitely a huge accomplishment. Um, but you know what? It's it's uh, different times. It's a different league. We um, you know we had a lot of new teams join the ACC for the regular season and. Um, you know, as far as postseason, you know, um, we're really not trying to compare ourselves to them. We're just truly trying to do this for, for each other. Um, but it's it's great to know that we have an opportunity to do something that's never been done in school um, and that we're just literally a game away from it. But at the end of the day, it just it comes down to what I always say. The goal is not to break a record, to get here, to get their bottom line, to win a championship, and that's what we're here for. In the back here on the right. Oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. Teresa, and then we'll go in the back on the right. Teresa Walker, Associated Press, uh, for, for each of you. Uh, Coach L said that uh, looking at Villanova almost like a, a mirror image of each other, you know, have swapped drills with Coach Wright and, and ball screening and defenses that you all play. When you're looking at Villanova, how familiar are you with what they're doing based on what you all do? Um, well, I think they, um, offensively, they like to shoot a lot of threes, and I think they, Get a lot of their momentum off three, so um, definitely want to run them off the three-point line. Don't want to let them get comfortable there, and they kind of play a pressure defense. Um, I'm pretty sure if they watch last game, they're probably going to pressure us because we had a couple of unforced turnovers. But I mean, I have trust in our guards and, and myself that we'll take care of the ball, so that won't be a problem. But um, it's, it's a team that like to get up and up and down, um, fast breaks, just like us. Um, very similar team, so. I mean, it'll be a great game. Thanks in the back. Chris White from the Courier Journal. Uh, Sheldon and Angel in particular, um, you've been on teams before uh, that have had some, some postseason uh, play. And, and how do you lean on that experience? And, and how does that shape uh, what's driving you guys this year? Um, you know what? I think it's not just my experience or Sheldon's experience. Tanya has a lot of experience, too. but. As a team overall, you know, I think last year, even though it was a disappointment, disappointment, it was definitely very helpful for the younger guys to gain some postseason experience. And um, you know, as seniors, I think it 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 goes far beyond just having experience. I think it, the motivation and the 
um, you know, no, knowing that it, this is it. You know, if we lose, our college careers are over. Um, but we definitely have an opportunity to do something special and um, to hopefully la make, make our career last um, an extra week and accomplish something special, like I said. Thanks, Angel. Let's go Tim and Kyle, and then that'll probably do it. Uh, for Tanya and uh, Sheldon, following up on the experience angle, as a veteran team, what advantage do you see when you're playing a younger team? And I'm not referring to Villanova, but last year, you know, Kentucky and Duke got to the Final Four with very freshman-dominated lineups. How do you attack that? Tanya? Um, I mean, we, um, we're really not a young team. I mean, uh, and the team we're playing, I don't think they're also a young team. It, it's just uh, guys with a lot of experience. And uh, Villanova has been, um, you know, in this risk sustain they were there last year. And, um, you know, they, they have a great coach and a great program. And, I mean, uh, we, we give them so much respect. We just, uh, we just go in there and we just play, I, I mean, we come in there to just execute our, our game plan and um, play together, and um, you know try to try to help each other out. You know, in, in any area we're lacking because um, I mean the game. I mean, when you take the floor and the game starts, I mean there's so many other things you know that might be going on and within the game where um, if you need a score, you got to do your job. I mean, if you need a rebounder, you got to do your job. So, so things like that. I mean, I think um, that is where the um, the experience comes in. And then for Sheldon and uh, for Angel and myself, I mean, uh, we've been in this position before, and uh, all we got to do is just go in there and uh, pull in a, a group of guys who uh, who has not been here before, and just um, try to pull them together to ourselves so that uh, we could we could do the right thing, you know, just to get a win. Go ahead, Kyle. Kyle Tucker, Courier Journal. Angel, having been there with him from the start, um, where have you seen uh, Sheldon grow? What do you think he's learned about himself since coming to Miami? And uh, also, how much has he talked about, or has he talked about uh, trying to get home to Houston for that Final Four? <laughs> um, you know what, I think I've seen him obviously grow the most as far as uh, his game. He's improved in a lot of things. He, he was always a uh, uh, a big time scorer before, but now he's doing it in a lot of different ways. And, um, you know, he still, in my opinion, hasn't learned to be as aggressive as we want him to be. But at the end of the day, we're, we're winning games and that's all he cares about. Uh, you know, I know that for sure. Um, what was your other question? I'm sorry. Oh, and um, yeah, we definitely talked about it, in fact, you know, multiple times before yesterday, but yesterday specifically, um, I remember we started talking about it because I was able to win a championship in Puerto Rico, and that was a very special feeling. And so I said, we got to get you to Houston and um, so you can know what it feels like to win a championship at home. So it's definitely a very exciting experience for, for all of us, especially for him because, of course, he's from Houston. All right, guys, we're out of time. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.